Welcome to the groundbreaking ceremony for uh, Garfield School Senior Residences, um, the future home uh, to 57 uh, senior residents. We're here today to celebrate the, the groundbreaking for the Garfield School Redevelopment with Gorman and Company. Really good partner to the city, the Moline School District, and the entire Quad Cities. I've been at uh, the church across the street for almost 30 years now, and this is a dream come true, and it is a plus for our neighborhood, and we look forward to working with uh, Garfield Senior Living. Gorman and Company is redeveloping Garfield School, combining adaptive reuse of the historic structure and new construction to enlarge the development to provide 57 total units. The development will create high quality affordable housing for low and moderate income seniors earning between 30 to 60 percent of AMI. Affordable senior housing is never easy and I know that they went through a, a lot of uh, hurdles to make this work and uh, the thing about Gorman was they always stuck to what they promised us to begin with. A project like this, the impacts are, you know, opportunities or, you know, devastation. And when the school district decided to close a couple of schools, they came to the city and said, you know, you guys are the experts in development, help us find partners. So the first person I called was Andre from Gorman and Company and said, the school district's closing a school in a really solid neighborhood. Um, we don't want the school to sit there vacant forever. We know you guys do good work. I've seen a lot of Gorman projects. I've traveled, you know, the Midwest with them, looking at projects that they've done. I knew they could do this project. This really represents our commitment to true community development. Uh, and when we think about just taking a step back, what that means, community development, because I think it's often used inappropriately or incorrectly. Um, it means a decade-long commitment, and that's how long we've been in this community, starting with Moline High School loss, uh, then Moline Enterprise loss, uh, and that's the true spirit of who we are. Um, I have friends in the private equity space that ask me all the time, they say, Brian, why in the world do you do what you do? Why do you go through such brain damage to get your projects done? We just go out and raise private equity and go. And I just look them square in the eye and I say, you know what? Low-income people desperately need affordable housing. It's hard work, but it's necessary work. So thank you, Andre, and thank you to the city of Moline. When I pulled up this morning, I remembered exactly where I parked. And I worked several times in this building in different capacities. Right before the building closed, I was a computer lab manager. I mentioned before, we all built a lot of memories here in this building. And so just knowing that the shouts of the children will still be there in the background and um, and that the adults will have a, a place where they can join and have a good time and, and experience good good friendships. Garfield's been a landmark in our community and in this neighborhood for over 100 years and I was one of many staff members, as was Fran, um, who worked in this building over the years. Many individuals have attended and graduated from Garfield and are excited to see what the future holds for their alma mater. So this is the 1901, the original building, the school. This was this Garfield thing was added in the 50s as part of the addition. This is all going to stay. They will get new doors here, and then the rest of this is going to kind of stay as it is. This was the old gymnasium and the cafeteria. This is going to kind of stay the way it is right now. And then this will be a multi-purpose room for residents to be able to use. They can have birthday parties, family reunion kind of things. The kitchen will still be there in some form, so you can have the potluck and the, the crock pot parade as we call it. A typical one bedroom apartment in the, in the 1901 building. You can see these units are a lot bigger. We have the tin ceilings. And then we found these actually after we started construction. We didn't know these were behind. They, they had a tack boards up over the top of them, but there's all the old chalkboards are back there. A lot of them still have the writing on from whoever the last teacher was in here. This is another example of a, a project in our community that I think honors both our history and our future. And I'm very appreciative of your organization continuing to invest in our community. It's strong partners like you that are able to help us uh, stabilize our economy here in Moline as well as uh, prosper. Having a, a partner like Gorman is terrific because they fill that gap that sometimes the community is not able to uh, provide. You know, market rate uh, housing uh, sometimes is a little bit uh, easier to do, uh, but uh, through their experience uh, working through uh, tax credit, historical uh, preservation, all of those things, they have the tool set to really make these sort of things come alive. A project like this, the impacts are, you know, 
opportunities or you know devastation and when the school district decided to close a couple schools they came to the city and said you know you guys are the experts in development help us find partners so the first person I called was Andre from Gorman and Company and said the school district's closing a school in a really solid neighborhood um, we don't want the school to sit there vacant forever we know you guys do good work and I knew they could do this project one of my concerns when running for alderman was that the school was going to be left vacant and, and unused, and obviously would be a blight within the community. But uh, now with what Scormans has, has done is bringing it back to life, uh, providing a service for, uh, for housing for those seniors that really need it, but also to make sure and stabilize the community so that we didn't have a vacant uh, property right in the heart of, uh, of our community. Well, honestly, I believe that it's important that we provide for our seniors and our disabled people um, living arrangements that are clean, comfortable, updated. And we took them to the school, the school district, they formed a partnership, and now here we are today to celebrate that. And the neighborhood embraced the project because they knew the history of Gorman and Company with the city of Moline. They saw the quality of their work. They knew that they redid projects and they stayed here for the long haul. They, you know, they continue to own their projects, reinvest in them. So now we would like to have the, uh, for you to join us for the ceremonial dig and, and groundbreaking. So thank you very much to the city of Moline, our partner, uh, and everyone else that's able to join us today.